Jacob here, the Unspoken Engineer. Um, I'm sure some of you have seen, and it's going to get more and more popular, that the two two deaths and one in hospital due to a potential air conditioning leak in the Sandals Hotel in Bahamas. Right, um, this is something which, you know, we had in 2018 in Egypt, and officially they ruled it out. But the reality is, is whether the truth comes out of this or not, the fact is, is this, in the UK and in Europe, we work under an EN378 regulation, which basically says that we cannot have more than 0 0.44 kilos meters cubed of refrigerant in a room at one point. So that is a single point of failure for a unit leaking into a room. We're actually doing a job coming up where we've basically been told that any room under 44 meters cubed needs leak detection. And the reality is, is this, is the risk for air conditioning and the Freon gases is asphyxiation. And in simple terms, that is a refrigerant leak, a catastrophic leak, which is so unlikely, um, but it can happen into a room at one given space. So those two Americans could have been, you know, sleeping, coil on an indoor unit has leaked, it's leaked through the vent and it's leaking slowly, 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 slowly. They could have been sleeping in that for days um, to the stage where they were feeling a bit poorly. There was reports that one of the partners was feeling poorly days before. Um, to the stage where they suffocated in their sleeps. So it's terrible news to hear. Um, the third person has been airlifted to, uh, I think, to Florida, um, and it's, uh, you know, they're not sure on the stay. But the reality is, is this, is how many hotels are there in the world? How many hotel rooms are there in the world? And how often does this happen? As I said, the last time was in 2018 in Egypt. Uh, the regulations in Egypt is the only thing there are for leak detection, and the same in the Bahamas. There probably is none. I've Googled regulations for Bahamas in the air conditioning and nothing has come up. I've got some maritime information, which is more of a naval thing. There are no regulations. So the reality is, is this, is it's not so much of a, what are we gonna do about it regulation wise? I think people should go to jail or people should be held accountable. So if you are building a hotel or someone is building a hotel, whether it's a Sandals Resort, you know, I'm not gonna name any others, but reality is if they're building these hotels they've got the duty of care to the people in their rooms leak detection you know two lives at the end of the day it's a big planet but two lives all because of this if it doesn't if it does come out that it's not the air conditioning i wonder what it is because the toxic gas there ain't nothing in the bedroom with a toxic gas unless there's some kind of gas flu ducting in or something but that's just not going to happen the chances are it's from the air conditioning and the truth never comes out in these but the reality is, is this is there should be some form of leak detection whether you're in europe Caribbean, Africa, and uh, it's a simple thing. Costs a bit of money, saves lives. So yeah, keep out, keep looking out for the news that comes out. It's literally just in. Um, any questions, or if you want to know more, get into a conversation with us. Add something in the comments below, and let's get talking. Let's get talking. Have a great day.